the, the center and the heart, um, I feel, of a, a lot of Métis identity. Um, being able to learn Métis um, has really strengthened my identity and strengthened my, I feel, my confidence in who I am um, as a Métis person. Because it gives us a different perspective. Uh, a lot of the different words in Métis um, can't be directly translated to English. So you can't express yourself in the same way as you can in English as you can in Métis. A lot of the cultural things um, in being Métis and a lot of the activities the Métis were doing um, are in the language and the, they're alive in the language. So keeping that language alive is uh, keeping our culture alive and keeping us strong as a people. Currently, uh, as, a, as a language learner, I speak mostly to the people in my classroom, but uh, outside of that, I always try and um, uh, slip in a few words here and there with my girlfriend and with my parents, um, just so they can hear the language and I end up using it a, a little bit every day. Well, uh, I'm hoping I will live a long life with a few children and I hope that I can speak with my children, um, with a uh, wife, with my family, with, within my community and um, be able to use it on a more of a daily basis and, and integrate that really into my life. Well, currently I'm, I, there's not a lot of Métis speakers and um, a lot of the Métis speaking I, I hear is either um, online, watching uh, um, some of the Métis uh, videos and, and lessons that are on there already, as well as uh, uh, the people in my class learning Métis and our teacher, Heather. I would like to see uh, many Métis using Métis uh, in their daily lives, in their homes. But I would really love to see our Métis governments using it uh, within all their publications and, and their media releases. I think that's really important and it really strength, could really strengthen us as a nation. Métis should be spoken among uh, Métis and other people who are passionate about languages that uh, we interact with on, in our broader communities. Um, but uh, also within our, in our governments, um, as Métis governments, um, and I would like, love to see it spoken in, uh, um, in Parliament, would be really cool. I think if others are not speaking Métis, uh, we, will, we won't be able to bring the language back. We won't be able to use it, we won't be able to use it in our homes and retain that uh, cultural aspects and that um, affirmation of identity. Um, so if no one's using it then and no one's speaking it, we won't be able to keep that alive. I think a lot of people would struggle knowing that that spark has kind of gone out. Um, that our elders aren't, aren't there anymore. Um, speaking the language, uh, I think that would it would be it would feel more of a burden. I feel like uh, we're already in a state with the language that it's it's so important to bring it back because we don't have many speakers and that that's a heavy weight. But to get to a point where the language is um, basically not there, um, it would be devastating. I think. Well, I think there's a lot of aspects to Métis culture that are still alive and still going. Um, a lot of that traditional on the land stuff and our, our connection with the land and um, the people around us um, are so important to, to maintain. And I feel like they're kept alive and strengthened with Métis. Um, so keeping both uh, together is, is, I think is really integral. Um, 
especially at a young age, there's a lot of benefits being bilingual. Um, but for young people to be raised um, and having such a critical aspect of their culture and their life, their language, um, I feel like we'll see a lot less of kind of lost, misidentitied people. Um, and for learners, uh, that's, that's kind of what we can gain from, from speaking Métis. Well, learning the language, uh, at my age, I've kind of realized that, um, you know, there's, there's no time to wait. And there's no, it's nice to say, I want to do this, so it would be nice if we could have this kind of a makeshift school or a makeshift that. Um, and really, it kind of um, sparked in me that I need to just get on the, hit the ground running and um, start building what I can build. Uh, recently, I've started a, a nonprofit for uh, Indigenous paddling, and I want to be integrating Mechif into some of the Metis um, things. And by learning Mechif, I kind of realized that that is it needs to happen, and I'm dedicated now to doing it. I think that sense of community would grow, especially like I live in Winnipeg. Um, and you know, there's there's Métis, there's a lot of Métis in Winnipeg, but we're all spread apart, and we we go to jobs where uh, we're not necessarily working with all other Métis. But as soon as we have like a a speaker, a group of speakers that are either meeting in certain places and using the language, um, that only enhances our our community and strengthens uh, what we have already in in, in our city. Um, so I see a more unified uh, group of Métis um, if we can all start speaking Métis um, based around kind of our language. Mm -hmm.